Welcome to Tech and Bags. Today we will talk about what I think is the best sling on the market right now, which is the Air Day Sling 3 X Pack version. So we will begin with the outside, as you can see here. I have the X Pack version, and you can see really well some X's, some crosses. This material uh, is quite particular, uh, now it, uh, it is kind of a trend, but it's a real trend that is useful because this material was used um, for nautical use, maybe it was used by the marines, so um, it's a very particular tissue uh, that is waterproof, and so this backpack, um, with the help of these um, zippers, which are AquaGuard zippers, is kind of uh, waterproof, I mean more rainproof. So you can go outside with this little sling and uh, under the uh, heavy rain and you will have no problem whatsoever, uh, nothing will get wet, wet inside. So what you have more on the outside, you have here the strap and you have here a little loop uh, to hang your backpack. Uh, your sling, uh, maybe on a, on something to hang your jacket. This is uh, what I use it for. You have here some pull tabs to help close um, the zips, which are here. You can hear it's very very nice zips from uh, YKK with the little zip garage here. You have three pockets. There is a hidden one right here with reversed uh, zips. You have the main um, pocket here and you have a front pocket here. You have a little um, handle here to carry it like this. I don't usually carry it a lot like this but it can be useful and you can also maybe hang it on something uh, with this. One big thing about this uh, sling is uh, the strap, which is here. Um, so it's kind of a seat belt uh, material. I don't know if you can hear it. You have here a feedlock, uh, which is sometimes uh, a problem for some people. For me, it's not at all a problem. It's um, super good. So we will talk a little more about this. You can see it's plastic, and then you have some magnets. So, the feedlock, how it works, you can remove by sliding down like this, okay? And then to put it back, either you put it like this and it works, or you put it like I just removed it from the bottom and it will slide by, its, by itself. It's kind of a fidget spinner. And if you are worried about the fact that it may open by itself, it will not. You really need to push it in a certain way to open it. So, if I demonstrate it to you, uh, now the field lock is closed, okay? If I, if I do this, like on both ways, never, 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 it will come loose. If I do this, um, if I take this and I want to push this to the top, impossible. I push like this, impossible to open. If I want to push it, um, I push this down and this up, Okay, it will open a little like this, but it will, it, it's impossible for it to open completely. It, you will just have this little gap. Okay, that's it. The only way you can really open it is if you hang this and you slide down. And then when it's on you, um, you will remember the, the, the move and then you will um, be able to remove it quite, um, quite quickly. Really, really nice. I really like it. And then you have the buckle here, which is uh, plastic. It would be better if it was uh, metal, but it's fine. It's way cheaper to do this in plastic. Okay, so you have the little Ipalon tab here, which is designed in San Francisco, and the Air brand. Okay. Now that we talk about uh, the outside, there is maybe one more thing the shape of the sling, 
so it's kind of triangular. You can maybe see it here, like this. And this, if uh, your uh, sling is empty, it will close like this, and then your sling will be smaller. But if we have, you have some things inside, it will get like this. Okay. Now talking about the pockets, um, so we will begin with the front pocket. So when you wear it on you, it's on the front. You can um, take one of the little tabs here and then you push it and it opens. So what you have inside is a keychain holder right here. You can put your keys and then you can open the door like this. The inside, as it's um, an X-Pack version, you have an orange interior which is really nice to see some little bits like this one for example that I forgot. Okay, and then yeah, you take this and then you close it. The zips are a little more um, maybe harder than the normal version in the X-Pack because you have this aqua guard that keeps the water out. But quite frankly, I really like it. Then uh, coming to the back pocket, which is a reversed uh, zip. You don't have aqua guard on this one, but the water will not get because it's close to you. It's a very flat pocket to put some uh, ID or some passport thing with orange interior in the same way. And if you close it correctly, like this, and you put this here, no one will notice that there is a pocket inside. And next, coming to the main attraction of the game, which is the main pocket. So you have it here, I will open it fully, so you can really see. Here you have the main interior, which is orange. As, you, as I said, you can have a lot if you do this. Then it will be like this. Okay. You have two little um, thing here, uh, where I put, for example, my earplugs, my earbuds from Soundcore. Here you can put maybe a water bottle that I did in other videos. Here you have two more little pockets like this. Here you have a pocket right here. And the thing which is really good compared to other slings and um, the TomTok X-Pack version, for example, does not have a zipped uh, pocket inside the main compartment. And this, I think, it's a really killer feature to buy this and not buy um, the TomTok. So it's also YKK. Then you have a little tab here with Air, designed in San Francisco, and the X-Pack version, xpack.com, laminated in the USA, because I think the method of fabrication is in the lamination, okay? And I think that's about it. Um, if you want more details, put your question in the comments. The last thing I will say maybe is the price. Um, so I bought it uh, in um, Britain because uh, you cannot buy it like this in Europe, which is a bummer. So I imported it from uh, the UK. But if you are um, in the US, there is no problem. You can buy it on the Air uh, website for around, the Xbox version is around 99. I think, and the normal version may be more, uh, it's less, I don't remember exactly, 79 maybe, US dollar. So I think it's really, really worth it. The build quality is way better than the TomTok, but if you don't have the budget, I will link, link down in the description the TomTok uh, X-Pack version, which is kind of the same, but if you are tighter on the budget, you can go with the TomTok. If you have the budget, don't hesitate and take this one, which is the best on the market. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to put a like and subscribe. It really helps me. So um, thank you very much. Bye-bye.